Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome everybody to the project of uh, Total Quality Management uh, CPTQ Diploma, uh, sponsored by our dear uh, supervisor, Dr. Mohammed Sheikh. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, our project, inshallah, which is Advanced Quality Improvement in ER Triaging for Stroke Patients in King Khaled Hospital, Kharj, uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, Excellent topic. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, by Ms. Lamis Mohsen Ahmed Salama, uh, Dialysis Nursing Supervisor, uh, and by me. And special thanks to Ms. Lena, Ms. Rima, and Dr. Iman. They contributed us with ideas in the initial phases of the meeting. Uh, welcome, Dr. Mohammed. Welcome, uh, Ms. Lamis. Thank you for your efforts. You. And I have good news for you that uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sibahi accreditation mm -hmm. uh, are uh, working now on a special edition for uh, uh, standards for stroke units. Uh, so uh, I think uh, this project will be so helpful for you. Yes. And I hope that you become uh, specialized in uh, quality accreditation and the preparation for accreditation or accreditation of stroke units, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Thank you, Dr. Mohammed, for this good news. Uh, I will start with the condolences to Dr. Mohammed al Sheikh. Inshallah, uh, hope Allah may help you with the blessing and peace, inshallah. Um, Thank you so much. Our project outline uh, will start uh, talking about the full classic approach. Uh, Dr. Ms. Lamis will continue uh, from the RCA and FEMIA. And in the end, the seven basic quality tools will be uh, made in summary. Uh, okay. I will give just an idea first about uh, stroke impact uh, in order to know what we are dealing with. In USA, which is supposed to be the most developing, uh, developed, there is one death in every six deaths due to stroke. It's the fifth leading cause of this. Every 40 seconds, there is a stroke. Every four minutes, one dies of stroke. Uh, about three quarter million people uh, have a stroke. Uh, most of them are ischemic, and the one fourth of them are preventable. The patient has previous stroke. So early action is important for stroke. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, these are the criteria which are made for early action. They are made by the National Institute of Neurological Disorder and Stroke, NINDIS criteria, and they are like they are guidelines in the United States for management of stroke patient. Time from door of the ER to the doctor assessment, 10 minutes. Time from the door to CT scan should be 25 minutes. Time from the door to CT reporting is 45 minutes. Time from doctor drug, which is a thrombolytic, is 60 minutes and time from door to monitoring in the ICU is three hours. So respecting Good. time window period is very important. Uh, this curve is a uh, diagram which shows the relation between the mortality rate and the months after admission according to the door to needle time. For example, if the door to needle time is uh, less than 45 minutes, as you see here, the mortality rate gets lower. While in the other spectrum, if more than 60 minutes, the mortality rates gets higher. So this is a definite uh, curve, which is, uh, shows that uh, door to needle time, if it is shorter, it will save life. And here is another study. In okay, so this uh, scatter diagram uh, denotes the uh, proportional uh, relation uh, between the time and the rate of death. Yes, right? and uh, it okay. moves the statement that uh, time, early action is important to limit mortality. Uh, the yes. second, we want to uh, deal on the uh, perfect way of uh, showing scatter uh, diagram. In okay. each scatter diagram, when we uh, will uh, discuss it, we uh, should uh, cl uh, clarify the two variables and the result of the relation between them. Okay. Okay. As you may. Okay. Thank okay. you. Next. Uh, next, this is another study made in Singapore. Uh, which uh, tried to use the emergency medical services, uh, which will we outline later, to improve the door to needle time. Uh, as you see here in the histogram, which is uh, showed in the light blue color, this is the door to needle time after application of emergency medical services in, according to the guidelines. And the red uh, bars show if there is no emergency medical service applied. As you see here, when we go to the left side, there is a left skewing of the uh, histogram 
meaning that applying emergency medical services in the proper way will lessen the door to needle time. So this is very important and we, we wanted to uh, replicate this finding in our local hospital in uh, Kharish. Next, uh, or you have any comment from Mohammed? No, excellent. Thank you. Uh, so we start by focus medical approach. Number one, we start by the F, we find the process to improve. Uh, as as you know, Dr. Mohammed, uh, focus medical is a mandatory requirement for any Sibahi accreditation or re-accreditation, mm -hmm. at least one focus uh, uh, BDCA. So I think it would be very beneficial to you, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. And uh, for coincidence, uh, they asked me for stroke uh, health quality this presentation uh, without knowing that I am taking total quality management diploma, subhanallah. So it was subhanallah. A <laughs> I made this presentation for both uh, days. So we'll first start with the problem statement. There is a delay in the door to needle treatment time for stroke patients presented to King Khalid Hospital Parish, leading to increased morbidity and mortality in stroke patients. Um, the current time in the average I will see now is a, is a, is a uh, control chart is average two hours. According to the guidelines we have sh uh, seen, they should be one hour. Uh, the, if we see here, this is a door to treatment time in King Khalid Hospital within minutes. This is the upper control limit, it should be 60 minutes as we agreed, and the lower control limit is 30 minutes because studies shown that less than 30 minutes does not add any benefit in mortality or morbidity. So these are our control limits. Of course, you see the performance of the hospital is outside of the curve totally. It's uh, yes. 1.4 minutes, 1.04 minutes instead of 60 minutes. So this is a critical alarm. If we- Excellent, and this is the first uh, step for improvement. Mm -hmm. to see where is your operation. And this is the most important value of control chart to put upper control limit and lower control limit and measure uh, uh, where uh, uh, your operations are uh, within the upper or, or lower uh, control uh, limit. So your vision to this uh, image is very uh, beneficial for getting solutions. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, uh, I have broken down the five uh, steps we have discussed earlier in the guidelines. Door to ER treatment, this should be 10 minutes in our hospital, 15.2 minutes. In door to CT treatment, they are 25 minutes. And I used the mean values, of course, during the last six months, uh, they were 34.1 uh, minutes. In door to reporting, there was some improvement because I controlled this element a little bit. And when I started taking the is a CBHQ diploma with you, Dr. Muhammad, uh, from December, late December, I started to apply it in my work in the in the part uh, I'm responsible for. So as you see here, due to reporting, I try to reach the gold standard, but the Excellent. limits, uh, the points outside of my reach for the, the ER doctor by the nursing, the ER, door to drug is the biggest uh, big gap, as you see here, two, 209 minutes instead of 60 minutes and let me clarify what is the reason for that the reason for that is that uh, there is uh, our hospital should be a tertiary care hospital but uh, there should be a stroke unit policy there should be thrombolytic policy but what happens is that there is no integration for stroke management and consequently patients uh, who have uh, are, need thrombolytic they are referred to riyadh and they take 45 minutes for referral. And of course, this 45 minutes for referral is responsible for the, this big number. My target from this project is inshallah to enhance the somatic therapy inside the hospital I'm working with. Uh, Excellent aim. Mm. Excellent, and this will save hundreds of lives. Yes, 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 exactly. Exactly, thank you. And as you know, as Allah said, وَمَنْ أَحْيَاهَا فَكَأَنَّمَا أَحْيَا النَّاسَ جَمْعًا إن شاء الله لما يكون في فرض واحد إن شاء الله حضرتك تكون سبب في انقاذ حياته ويكون كل أمزال حسنتك حتى من بعدك الناس اللي اشتغلت في المستشفى إن شاء الله الله أعلم، thank you uh, I will proceed further to uh, clarify uh, The second step is organization of the team uh, I made it in the army approach uh, This is a suggested uh, skeleton from the CMO as, as a prover as a neurology head of departments, radiology, ER, ICU, nursing supervisor, lab, pharmacy. I even included the porter because the porter who is transferring the patient from the ER to the CT should ha have some knowledge, to some extent, 
in uh, how to transport a stroke patient, how to respect the time uh, window period. Uh, any special comments, Dr. Mohammed? Excellent. Thank you. Go on. Uh, this is the flow chart. I tried to put some element of uh, Cybook and the flow chart in, in the same slide. And I, there is a, a special slide for Cybook. But here, uh, as you see here, the, this blue part is the job of ER doctor. Stroke patient presents to the ER. Uh, there is ER evaluation, and I made it diagonal because this will have two uh, flow two pathways. If not stroke, I refer accordingly. If this is stroke, this uh, documentation, this electronic documentation, I will order CT. Then laboratory investigation ordering, this are electronic documentation. Then lab sampling, uh, then the nurse uh, will transfer the patient. The lab, the technician of the CT will perform the imaging. Then the patient will be returned to the ER. Then the patient, well, uh, we'll have CT reporting and decision uh, together with the neurologist and radiologist. And accordingly, the patient will be transferred to ICU to source thrombolytic. And when he receives thrombolytic, the ICU admission will be made as an electronic operation. And then the final, uh, the, the closure or the uh, closing end of the flow chart is the drug therapy and monitoring. Uh, below, I can show you the uh, time uh, periods I have clarified earlier. And as you see here, there is a significant delay, especially in the drug therapy and monitoring. Excellent. I have simple uh, comment uh, mm -hmm. that uh, at first I uh, uh, I think with uh, th this method you are making a matrix flow diagram. Mm -hmm. uh, if you remember, we said yes. Yes. we have three types of uh, flow diagram mm -hmm. or flow charts: a uh, high level, which is the main highlights. Then it details, which uh, mm -hmm. uh, contains the details. Mm -hmm. uh, then matrix flow uh, diagram in which you are, as you are making ER doctor, which uh, uh, steps, ER nurse, which steps, radiology, which steps, and so on. Mm -hmm. I have only two uh, important comments. Mm -hmm. The first, uh, that you, uh, the, the start and the end uh, should be, more obvious uh, than that. Mm, mm. Uh, uh, why it's not obvious? Mm. Uh, because the space uh, between uh, stroke patient presentation to ER and the ER evaluation, the mm. uh, space between them is very narrow. So, mm. uh, so the arrow is not uh, apparent. Mm. So uh, we want to make simple distance between mm. them to show the direction of the arrow Mm -hmm. uh, bet uh, between the uh, start uh, okay. to uh, it, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, uh, about the uh, three uh, uh, gray lines from CT imaging, I don't understand them. From CT imaging to CT reporting and decision, I have one, two, three uh, gray oh. lines. Yeah, yes. I don't uh, understand them. What I are this? Yes, yes. I want to clarify it. Uh, the, the nurses will transfer the patient for CT. Then the technician will perform the CT. Then this CT uh, will have a report and a decision which will be electronically made through the online communication of the hospital. Then the patient will be transferred back to the ER. Uh, uh, because the arrows here are very uh, narrow, and I will try to correct it. As you can see here, CT transfer goes to CT imaging and then transfer back to the ER, and then the arrow should become from here to the CT reporting and decision. And then the arrow goes back from the CT reporting to ICU transfer, and then from ICU to ICU admission and drug therapy. Is a, is a, I, try, I made this chart first in the XL, then I tried to transfer it to the bar point, so some errors happened during this transfer. I will try to fix this and make the Yes, uh, the, the problem is that you have uh, to make a simple edit, Mm -hmm. on these uh, gray uh, arrows okay. uh, as uh, th their directions are not apparent at all yes. okay yes. so we want to uh, fix it as much as uh, okay. possible okay. Uh, and uh, you can make it uh, vertical instead of uh, ho uh, horizontal uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, take your space uh, take your time okay. uh, to make it uh, very well uh, mm -hmm. only uh, make the arrows direction will uh, in all sites, yeah. for example, from uh, uh -huh. ER evaluation uh -huh. to stroke uh, syndrome and science, uh, the arrow is not uh, 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 clear uh, too. Uh, I think the 
uh, transfer from Excel to uh, uh, to PowerPoint may uh, make some uh, problems. You can scan it and uh, make ah. it uh, copy, uh, paste as a, paste as a photo, not mm -hmm. as a uh, not paste as it is. Okay. okay. Uh, then uh, the last step is drug therapy and monitoring, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. It needs we need an arrow between mm -hmm. ICU admission. Uh, to uh, drug uh, therapy and uh, monitoring. It's very uh -huh. important in control chart showing to uh, show the start and the end uh, very clear. Okay? Okay. 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 okay, thank you. Great effort. Next. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is a cyborg approach. I hope I have addressed it well. Uh, if you can have any comments, Dr. Muhammad, uh, I have just one question. Okay, clear. Uh, about clear, very easy. About the hidden customer, can we have a hidden customer here in the stroke project or not? For sure, mm -hmm. uh, you are in uh, you uh, you are dealing with some uh, ambulance men in uh, transfer of uh, patients from hostel to hostel mm -hmm. and uh, regulators of uh, audit uh, from MOH or from other uh, 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 quality regulators. All of uh, these are uh, hidden customers. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. Then. Yes, this is a spaghetti approach. Of course, this is not uh, the spaghetti classic I saw in the wild searching. I just yeah. tried to clarify the issue uh, discussed before in the flow chart. This is the ER, the nurse, the nurses uh, send the patient to the CT, and then they return him back to the CT again. And there is an electronic uh, record uh, communication happens here between the CT and the ER, and then. There is a physical movement of the patient to the ICU in the second floor. Uh, there is a physical movement of the samples to the lab. And there is a physical movement of the nurse here from the ICU to the pharmacy and back to the ICU. The pharmacy lab and ER and CT are in the same floor, first floor. And CT is near to the CT. But the ICU is distant in the second floor. And there is an elevator which uh, help, uh, transfers the patient. So there are electronic steps and there are physical steps. I made the physical steps in black color and I made the electronic steps in yellow and uh, red color. Uh, okay, after you made the spaghetti diagram, what's your conclusion and what's your advice? As you know, we make a spaghetti diagram to discover if there is a rework or redo or a waste in time or effort. And we give, uh, uh, after lean thinking, uh, suggestions for uh, eliminating of this uh, waste. Uh, did you find any waste? Yes, I found the first waste in the ICU. There is a big distance from the ER to the ICU. I, uh, I wanted uh, to suggest and the solution in the RCA later on to make a special ICU for the stroke patient near to the ER. Uh, this is the first thing. The second thing, uh, I need fast tracking for the lab samples and the for the pharmacy. For example, the thrombolytic, if there is a, an, a special ICU here, the thrombolytic will be available here. And there will be a special lab here. So, so there's no need for the nurses to go that distance to the lab. This all, all my, uh, just a preliminary suggestions. And of course, if you have any documents, uh, this will help. Thank you. Excellent. As you know, in lean thinking, we are trying to make uh, as much as possible costless, suggestions mm. as you know uh, lean uh, uh, as it uh, it's uh, thinking about decreasing waste in uh, time and effort uh, also in uh, in money uh, mm. and and cost so we are trying in lean thinking as much as possible to make costless or very low cost suggestions uh, to save uh, time effort and uh, money so if this suggestion is uh, applicable with low cost, uh, it's uh, very uh, welcomed. But if it will cost a lot, it's uh, not uh, favorable, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Uh, this slide shows the previous operation as a gold standard, and I've explained it before. Uh, I just want to, uh, to show something here called Vocera. Uh, Miss Lena have uh, discussed this Vocera which is like a voice uh, call uh, to the members working in the stroke team. I will uh, explain this later in the RCA, inshallah. 
Uh, but the about the last slide, uh, what is this uh, last slide? Yeah, this last slide, this is this should be the uh, typical scenario for the stroke alert. This is just an introduction to stroke alert, which is an electronic device uh, called the Procera. Uh, Lena, Miss Lena told me they use it in Emirates for sepsis activation. Okay, okay, but uh, uh, but uh, when we want to put it in the project. Mm -hmm. We uh, should put it in quality tools terms, so it's better to represent it uh, within a uh, flow chart with its uh, symbols. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So if you uh, represent it within our quality flow chart sim uh, symbols, I think it will be more beneficial and more proficient. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, next. Next, this is the understanding the root cause of the brainstorming. Uh, we have here four things. Number one, I will start with the policy. The stroke policy in the hospital is out of date. It was made about five to seven years ago, and it needs updating. And this problem uh, makes people not aware of the stroke management and the stroke politic management in the hospital. And the uh, total quality department is weak, has weak point for neurology. Because before I came, I was the first neurologist to have a contract within the hospital. Before that, the doctors were locum. So when I was the first doctor to contract with the five years ago, uh, there was no stroke policy. We tried to make a stroke policy and uh, I was not familiar with that quality terms and quality management, so I couldn't help in that much. But now I have now uh, total quality management uh, uh, knowledge. I'm trying now to have this energy to cooperate with the quality department. So the first Next. thing I, I, I outlined here is the stroke policy. Number two, the people. The ER doctor has lack of training in the stroke patients and the importance of early time saving and the quick neurological examination. She should be trained. The neurologist here, we have shortage. We have only four neurologists in the hospital. So we need the recruitment of more doctors. The nurses, there is lack of training as well in the, in the ER. They should learn because the, the most tasks are on the shoulders of nurse, lab sampling, is, uh, sending the patient to the CT, to the ICU. So they should be trained. They should have task assignment to avoid overtasking because of the multiple duties we show in the spaghetti diagram. The technicians also, they should uh, have uh, tr be trained to respect the window period and uh, to be alerted uh, once there is a stroke patient to take the uh, mission seriously, not busy with other patients. They should be dedicated for the stroke patient once he arrives. And the porters as well, they should be trained uh, about uh, the importance of transferring the patient and the care of transferring the patient in a, a, a way that does not cause harm to the patient or injury, and at the same time saves the time. Uh, the plant itself, the CT, sometimes there is occasional sluggish networking, and we need to improve this in the IT. In the lab, there is physical distance that has uh, have shown, and we need fast tracking, both for the lab and the pharmacy. The ICU as well, we may need neurocritical ICU, or even we can make a special room in the shock room for the ER, special for the stroke patient, without making uh, uh, building uh, any facilities and costing much money. We just may, may specify a bit in the ER for this ICU patient. Just one second, I'm sorry. Uh, and Vosera, uh, sorry, it's Vocera, the eye should not be present here. We don't have Vocera, which I said it's like a blip or a, a phone system specific only for stroke vision. We, uh, once it is working, it will uh, uh, notify each one of these members in the uh, each in its own pager that there is a patient in the ER, we should uh, work on that. And we don't have Vocera, and one of the uh, suggested solutions is to provide this Vocera uh, machine. The last thing about the process, uh, there is a sluggish uh, ER evaluation, as I mentioned here, and this should be solved by training. The electronic recording, uh, there are many things to be recorded, lab, CT, there should be fast tracking. There should be one bundle in the system. When I click it with one button, I will order the lab, I will order the CT without making many steps and that specific time. For the CT reporting, who should uh, report the CT is a neurologist or the radiologist. There is no policy in the hospital for that. So there should be standard notification system. The transfers, there are one, two, three transfers. Uh, these transfers can be eliminated if there is fast tracking, as I have shown before. And for somatic, of course, we have transfer patients of Riyadh because of lack of policy, delay from pharmacy, medical legal issues. Uh, most patients we deal with, are, uh, their culture are uh, from... Uh, 
uh, as we say, rural culture somehow. So they are not oriented in a stroke uh, at all and the thrombolytic. Uh, and this creates medical legal problems and make uh, consultants uh, afraid of to get thrombolytic. This is very important. Uh, and there is defective ICU preparation for the patient. So these are uh, the root causes uh, shown here in the slide. Uh, Dr. Mohammed, you have any special comment here? Yes, I have two comments. Uh, the first uh, comment that uh, why uh, did you uh, take four uh, fish bones only? We want at least uh, six. Six, okay. So, yes, so we have uh, to add another two. As you know, the classic shape of it, three above and three uh, below to okay. uh, finish the six uh, uh, main uh, 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 fish bones of the uh, fish bone diagram. Okay. The second uh, thing is uh, from your opinion after uh, fish bone uh, diagramming, what is the most important uh, cause for the problem? The most important cause is lack of training. This is number one. Yeah, uh, there yes. is lack of orientation, lack of education. And this is very simple, preventable issue. Uh, yeah, we have all facilities to treat stroke patients in the hospital without referring them to thrombolytic. So if just orientation education, this is a cost-effective uh, solution. Uh, and this yes, so the most important part is the part of people. Yes, yes, part yes. of people, yes. Uh, yeah, okay. and this, Nicholas, and th this is the same slide for solution, but here I removed the uh, problems and I mentioned all the solutions. So this is solution yes. generation. We make stroke policy updating. Uh, we will train uh, the ER doctors, the nurse, the technicians, the porters. Uh, we will call the HR for neurological recruitment. Uh, we will make a, 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 a clarified nurse task assignment. Um, in the city, we will try to improve networking. Uh, fast tracking as described, provision of new critical ICU, Vocera, uh, fast recording for electronic recording in one bundle, uh, standardizing notification for CT report, whether by neurologists or by uh, radiologists, they should be made clear cut in the policy for stroke. Creative presentation of the solutions in, the, in a new good manner. Excellent. Thank you. Next. Uh, next, uh, I made uh, group these solutions in terms of colors according uh, to the easiest to the hardest. The easiest is yes. training in stroke management and thrombotic therapy, then the policy, then the electronic communication by fast tracking related orders and notification for the CT report, then the physical communication with nurse task assignment, with physical fast tracking for the lab, pharmacy, ICU, provision of the CERA, then neurological recruitment because it takes time and money and provision of new critical ICU because it takes time and money as well for the infrastructure. This is a, a table I made for brainstorming uh, with uh, Dr. Lamis and Ms. Lena uh, and some of my colleagues in the hospital as well. Uh, the major impact uh, I have noticed here was on the training arm. The total was 25, uh, followed by the policy, then the electronic recording, physical communication as well had the same share with training as I should have brought it uh, above uh, beside with training. Then the list is uh, the things that need more money, neurological equipment and provision for critical ICU. So as it appears here from this uh, table, uh, the solution is, e is relatively easy. It's just a matter of training, Excellent. policy writing, and just improving physical distancing, which is not a heroic uh, solution. Excellent impact with your transition matrix. Thank you for your efforts within it. Thank you. Uh, this is um, a, a burrito uh, uh, from, uh, made from the, this previous table. And as you can yes. see here, training and policy followed by fiscal communication are the most important to address and the, can solve 80% of the hospital problems uh, and constitute 20% of the uh, solutions. Uh, I okay. have uh, made them clear in a specific uh, table plan for change. I made it in the Gantt uh, uh, design. Uh, I started by the policy first. The, we should make stroke policy updating and stroke unit development in the policy. The person in charge should start by seeing all oh, his care quality uh, professional, neurology, head of department, all the disciplines involved in the patient care. I uh, made the estimate cost about $200. Uh, dollars. It should be start uh, from uh, uh, first of uh, the new year. Uh, of course, these dates will be modified because the meeting will be postponed to the next uh, week. Followed by the training, uh, it will start after we make the policy. Uh, within four days, uh, I made an average four days for making this policy. 
and the training will need mannequins and will need some physical stuff. It will cost about $900. And the lastly, for the fast tracking, for making uh, a shock room besides the ER and it, all that stuff for physical communication and provide to the Coursera, this will all cost about $22,000, uh, uh, including all these uh, points. And it will start after training of the staff. Uh, the okay. Okay. This is the uh, uh, main stakeholder matrix. Actually, I wanted your help, Dr. Mohammed. Uh, Dr. Uh, Iman explained this uh, table to us. When we start to apply a solution, we start by this uh, column first, which is the easy and the most needed uh, solution, followed by the difficult, but the most needed solution. And then there is here the easy, but uh, non unnecessary solution. And there is a difficult and uh, unnecessary solution. So is this the way to do the change for the plan D or what should be the slide for this? Uh, yes, but uh, why did you left that to uh, lower boxes empty? Because I didn't find any solution. I suggested that it belongs to these um, not needed solutions. I mean. Okay, uh, remove them. And okay. vote number one, I'll do stroke policy updating. Number two, uh, physical fast uh, tracking, for example. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, tally uh, the uh, table for as a ch proposed the checklist for improvement. Of course, this is a, a provisional table. This is not an actual table. We didn't make excellent. And this is, by the way, one of the uh, uh, seven basic quality tools. And by now, you 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 already uh, used uh, many uh, yeah a lot of uh, tools from the seven basic quality tools like uh, Fishbone Diagram and Control uh, Chart mm -hmm. and uh, Barito and uh, Tally. So this is very excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I, I expect, of course, is that uh, doors to drug delay incidents and OVRs will be the most common, followed by door to bed delay incidents. Uh, and uh, this is just a provisional. I will compare it, inshallah, with the actual uh, table. And uh, of Excellent. course, it will hold again and redo. This is also proposed. These are future steps, not implemented. Uh, now I will leave the mic uh, for Ms. Lamis to present the RCE and FINI approach, inshallah. Thank you, Dr. Muhammad. Welcome, Ms. Lamis. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum Dr. مع حضرتك لميس محسن نيرسينج دايلس سوبرفايزر بحضرتك هنتكلم على الروت كوز اناليسيز الروت كوز اناليسيز اول حاجه طبعا نوتيفاي ديفاين انترفيو هنتكلم على كل ان شاء الله واحده فيهم باذن الله اول حاجه نوتيفاي في البروسيس وي شود نوتيفاي اف اني ديلي هابن طبعا ده هيكون عن طريق الاو في ار او الريبورت تاني حاجه بالنسبه لنا اللي هي هتكون بقى الديفاين ان هنعمل ديفاين ذا بروبلم يعني ذس ذا ديلي هاو تو هاو تو هابن ذس وان اند وير بعد كده الانترفيو الانترفيو طبعا هنعمل انترفيو سيبريتد مع الستاف ريليتد للانسيدنت اللي حصلت النيرولوجي دكتور مع الراديولوجي دكتور الاي ار دكتور الاي سي يو والنيرسنج ستاف ريليتد تو ذا انسيدنت واللاب ستاف والفارماسي ستاف بعد كده يليهم البروسيس اناليسيز هنبتدي زي ما هو معروض هنا قدام حضرتك البروسيس تحليل ليها وبدات ازاي ومش ازاي فهنا عندي الستروك بيشنت كام تو اي ار وفي ايفالويشن فروم ذا اي ار دكتور في ال city ordering وال lab ordering وفي يليها طبعا ال lab sample و city transfer city imaging return the patient to ER for waiting the city reporting 
في بعد بعد الديسيجن التريتمنت ديسيجن في الاي سي يو ترانسفير والاي سي يو ادميشن يليها دراج ثيرابي اند مونيتورينج في هنا التشنجنج اناليسيز التشنجنج اناليسيز بالنسبه لاول حاجه في هوم بيشنت كومينج تو اي ار هنا في سيرة كحل طبعا الديلي اللي بيحصل هتبقى الكوميونيكيشن اسهل والتواصل ما بين الستاف فده حل المقترح ان شاء الله يكون فعال بالنسبة هنا للجزء الثاني في الحل اللي هو ان احنا نتابع البوليسي عشان كده شود بي طبعا ان احنا نعمل ابديتنج للبوليسي و... ونعمل تريننج للستاف كمان ويبقوا اورينتد بيها بالنسبه للديلاينج اللي بيحصل في من... في, في السيتي ايمجينج والريبورتنج والديسيجن لازم يبقى يكون فيهم فاست تراك ويكون في جود كوميونيكيشن يسهل ان احنا نعرف الديسيجن بطريقه اسرع واسهل مقترح طبعا هنا دكتور محمد كان اقترح ان يكون التايمر موجود بحيث ان هو يدي الارم لكل ستاف ان هو يتبع يعني يحاول يكون يعني واخد باله من التايمر ويتبع الخطوات بطريقه اسرع شويه Mm-hmm. As uh, as you see, it will be not uh, clear for uh, reading. Okay. Then uh, I said when we uh, redo uh, the flow chart, uh, uh, we want to differentiate between the original past steps and the uh, newly improved steps. Mm-hmm. So we want to uh, in the modified flow chart to use. Two colors only. The mm-hmm. first color, uh, for example, here the blue for the past mm-hmm. already present mm-hmm. uh, flow chart, mm-hmm. and the newly improved uh, steps take another uh, new color mm-hmm. to differentiate the past from the uh, new modifications for improvement. Okay. 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 Nikas. Just one second. And Nikas, ال barrier analysis ال barrier analysis طبعا زي هنوضح فيها ان شاء الله ازاي نقدر نمنع ال delay اللي بيحصل عن طريق طبعا ال policy ان احنا نعملها updating ونحاول نعمل orientation لل staff ليها وعشان يتبعوها و training لل staff ونحسن طبعا ال communication بينهم ونشوف ال networking ال communication بين ال staff ال networking بالنسبة لل electronic communication بالنسبة لل neurology staff availability وآخر barrier هي ال neuro critical ICU ده بالنسبة لل barrier هنا اسكواي اسكواي طبعا علشان هن... يعني نتابعها هنشوف بقى المشكله جت منين الديلي اللي حصل دوت هل الستاف في في محتاج تريننج يعني الاي ار دكتور او نيورولوجست نيورولوجست مثلا يس يو كان سكيب ات از في شورتج مثلا يس يس اوكي Yes, it's better to uh, enumerate it. Write the numbers of one, two, three, four, five to denote uh, that uh, they are the five Ys. Okay? Okay. 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 Um. هنا بعد اسكواي هنشوف الاكشن اللي احنا هنعمله و... وطبعا الاكشن اللي احنا هنعمله هنا ان احنا هنتبع الحاجات اللي هنحسنها زي البوليسي تريننج والفيزيكال كوميونيكيشن الريبورت الريبورت طبعا في حال ان ما تمش تنفيذ الاكشنز اللي اتحطت او او حاجه منها طبعا ما تمش تنفيذها هنعمل او في ار او ريبورت عشان نشوف المشكله وبعد كده نعمل ايفالويت 
زي ما حضرتك شايف في التشيك شارت بالنسبة للفيميا الفيميا السكوب فيها ان احنا نقلل ال delay in the door to treatment time for stroke patient presenting to King Fat King Khalid Hospital. بالنسبة للتيم التيم طبعا اللي هو CMO approver و resource. Okay, I I see it. Next, bring the table. التيبل هنا ال rating. في الـ Process Step الـ Process Step City Reporting Decision والـ ICU Transfer Management والـ ER Evaluation والـ CT Imaging الـ Failure Mode في الـ CT Reporting إن في Delay في الـ CT Information والـ Decision الـ Effect of Failure ليها طبعا Lost Chance of Thrombolysis و الـ Severity هنا أديناها طبعا 8 The cause of failure, of course, lack of update policy. The occurrence of the of the seven. The control, the current control policy updating. The detection five. The PRN. لها two hundred eighty. I want to ask you about CT imaging detection. You give it one. What is the meaning of this? This means the detection of CT imaging is good or not good? CT imaging? The detection? Yes. No, no. Yani, will detecting. Yani, we can see it. Excellent. It's like a relationship. Excellent. After you made a female. Uh, what uh, did you discover? Uh, what are the uh, most uh, dangerous and threatening uh, risk factors for failure? City reporting and decision. Excellent. Then uh, ICU transfer and management, right? Oh, I think this one. Excellent. Uh, thank you for uh, reordering uh, them according to uh, uh, risk uh, priority. I advised the last group uh, presentation that uh, the best method to show uh, FEMIA, as you do here, is to uh, make ordering of them uh, the most dangerous, then the less, then the less, then the less. Excellent. Next. Uh, next, uh, saving quality tools. Uh, and we الله going to be able to do this project. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be Very, very, very excellent uh, project. Uh, well deserved. Full mark. Thank you so much for this important, uh, vital uh, project uh, that we hope uh, it will save uh, hundreds of lives, inshallah. Thank you so much for your great efforts as to this project. And uh, we hope to see it uh, already implemented in uh, the hostel, uh, inshallah. I hope. Thank you so much for your effort. Thank you. Yes, thank you. My, my biggest. Thank you, Dr. Mohammed Abdul Hadi. Yeah, Allah. I mean, I biggest thank you to Dr. Mohammed. Masha Allah. I mean, without you, I Subhanallah, I wouldn't have done any of this. Thank you, really. I mean, Masha Allah, Jazakallah, Kullakhir. I mean, thank you, Dr. Mohammed.